To have easier control over the sculpting of a hairstyle, it sometimes helps to have multiple levels of detail for the hair itself. In this tutorial, we're just gonna quickly learn how to do this with some rudimentary tools in Ornatrix for Maya. I'm gonna go and click the Create brush here, and if I double click on the Tools window, I get my, uh, my options here. I'm gonna select the round brush, and for spacing, I'll set some large value like two. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna uh, create some hairs that are very sparsely populated. So uh, this could be called guides or whatever else. But the idea is that I'm just gonna start doing this over a mesh. So I'm gonna create some hairs like this. And then I want to create on top of this a more dense layer which can later be controlled by these hairs. So to create a new dense layer we're going to be needing a whole new edit guides operator. If I open my modifier stack right now you can see that we have these operators with edit guides on top which we just created and this operator creates the actual hairs. If I keep adding hairs on top of my model all of the hairs will go into this one edit guides operator. What I want to do is create another edit guides operator on top and create the hairs into that operator instead. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna uncheck the, all the options here except for the new. And this way I'm gonna tell the brush tool that I want to create a new edit guides operator for each of the drag operations that I will be doing. For the denser hairs, let's change the spacing to a smaller value, maybe 0.3 or something like that. So I will just click and drag on top of my character to create a new edit guides operator and populate it with some hairs. If I keep pressing or keep dragging on top of my mesh, I will keep creating new edit guide operators on top of each other. So what I need to do right now is to switch this from a, just a new target to all of these options together. By doing this, I essentially am saying that I want to apply my changes to a selected edit guides operator, which is the one I have right now, or if nothing is selected to the top one in the stack, uh, if nothing, if there is no edit guides at the top of the stack, it's going to be any operator in the stack, or in the worst case, it's going to create a new one. So once I have selected all of these options, I'll just keep creating new hairs, and they will be created in between the sparser hairs that we have created earlier. Once I'm done, I can go back to my previous edit guides operator here and I'm go I can go and uncheck this hide guides option so we can see where the hairs actually are compared to the overall hairs. And then I can use uh, the comb brush or any other brush to modify these guides. As I modify them, the hairs, the dense hairs that we have created on top of the guides follow the direction of our sparse hair. I'm just gonna go and reduce the width of the hairs a little bit so we can see them better. In addition to modifying the sparse hairs, I can always go and click on the top edit guides operator. This is the one where we created the detailed hairs. And I can also brush the fine detailed hairs over here to create any shape that I want. And then I can go back to my sparse hairs. And when I brush them, the fine detail or the changes that are made to the dense hair will be preserved and move along with the guides. As you can imagine, we can have multiple such layers. So we can have super sparse, maybe a little bit more dense, and then the final dense hairs on top of each other. And this is what defines the multiple levels of detail inside Ornatrix. So you have complete control over the creation placement and later on the changes that you make to your hair. Another thing that I can do is I can go back to my sparse hairs and remove them. So I can delete this hair or these hairs and the changes will be propagated properly to the top hairs or vice versa. I can go back and either delete the dense hairs or I can create new ones anywhere I want and the changes to the shape both defined both on the sparse hairs and the dense hairs will be applied to the newly created strands. So you have complete freedom over creating or deleting hair roots at any time within your grooming process. I hope that this will improve and open new possibilities for your character grooming workflows. Thank you.